I'm gonna crack four more packs into selection one. These are the last ones that will go into selection one from the one pack of each that I cracked. And I've already put in all the Throne of a Drain cards. Uh, and this is actually fitting because I really, I would like to add more Ravnica 3 into the selections. Okay, so let's see, let's see how we do in here. I've got a lot of commons already, so I think the commons, I doubt that I'll find something new. And we're doing only Commander, so if we already have the card, which we do, we are, I think we have this card in Selection 1. If we don't, that's a great addition. Yeah, it'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if there are commons that we don't yet have. And I'm, I'm not using any lockets in any of the builds. 5 for 5. Then that goes into the uncommons. I'll sleeve those later. And we already have this one in Selection 1. And we already have this one in Selection 1 because I just talked about them in the previous build. But I'm pretty sure we don't have this card. And it's a board wife. That's nice. All creatures with CMC 3 or less. It's a board wife for little guys. For weenies. That's good. Then a guild gate and a token. Okay, then let's go to the allegiance pack. Good, so we cracked a rare that we do not have in selection one. That's very good. Okay, then this is the ra uh, allegiance pack. Not sure if I have this in selection one. Either one of these guys. Another locket. Deface. We do because I just talked about it. Hmm. Interesting. Nice. I don't think I have it in here. Same with this dude. Actually, this guy would have been good in the build that I just finished. Uh, Look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a creature, put the rest, bottom of your, eh, I don't know, but hey, it's a good guy. Okay, good. Flash, and I, yeah, and I see, oh, good. See, this guy would have been perfect in the build I just made. That's funny. Yeah, this is, this would have been perfect. Yeah, nice pull. Awesome. Yep. Would have helped Corvold a lot. So fitting, because then we can do another Corvold later with Rakdos in it. And of course, I, I yeah, I think I am gonna keep the brawl deck as is. You know, I really like the way Wizards makes its precons, and I like to keep the precons untouched for posterity. I've regretted every single precon that I've undone. I have regretted undoing it. Okay, so the. Uh, War pack, which always contributes with uh, a uh, legendary. Although, incredibly enough, in this, oh, proliferate, yeah, casual proliferate, not bad. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure some of these comments. I think some, at least one or two of these comments are new to the selection one. Um, but yeah, war always contributes. But it's nice to get a, a legendary from some other pack. An angel, not sure I have it. Yep, I do. I just talked about this card. Oh wow, nice! And a planeswalker. Well, of course, there's a planeswalker in every pack. What am I talking about? Uh, but not. Oh, but I did not have this card. Of course, this is a self mill, which would never fly in commander. It's uh, you win the game if you don't have any cards in your deck. But hey, I'll take it. I'm not going to say no to it. I still want to make some constructive builds at some point, but we'll see. I mean, 2020 is going to be the year of Commander for Magic, so maybe the constructive builds are going to wait a little. Oh, another one. I have this guy already. I 
Okay, way to recover cards from your graveyard. Nice. Oh, cool. I pulled one at the pre-release and I think I pulled one later. So I think this is my third one. But this is, I think, the first one in Selection 1. Very good card. Nice pull. Okay, so then I'll do a little recap of the rares and uncommons. I think this is, a, this is one of the best pulls. So I pull the Ley Line. I pull this guy. That's two. Three. Yeah. So that's a nice pull, too. But... Yeah, I would say three, these three, I think, are the, what I would call the choice pulls. Okay, and I'll leave it at that.